All right, so doing what we did last time, let's see if we can write a program that will take some sort of user input and spit out a calculation. So what would be an easy one? Well, the end of the year is coming up, and as the end of the year comes up, people typically talk about resolutions for the new year, ways they're gonna to try to better themselves, et cetera, et cetera. And perhaps the biggest one is exercise. So let's say that we did one for exercise. So I'm just going to do a new text edit file. And let's increase the size of this a bit. And we'll call this, let's save it to desktop. We're going to call it like exercise calc.py. It's not really going to be much of a calculator, but that's okay. It's just a simple start. I'm thinking that when people talk about exercising, they're like, I'm going to do this every single day, and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to do it for a year, and I'm going to be like amazingly fit, right? So I'm going to exercise even just 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day or whatever the resolution is, and then we're going to multiply that across the number of days in the year to show how much exercise that would be throughout the year. And I don't know if that's really inspiring or more intimidating, but... It doesn't matter. The example will show you a simple way to do this, and you can always change values, try different things out, create your own programs using this sort of method. So exercise calculator user inputs of time of time spent exercising per day output of total time across the year. And of course, that's assuming they actually stick with their resolution, which that always happens, right? What do we need to do? So we need some um, input. So let's do raw input. And then the parentheses, let's give them a prompt. Like, how many minutes of exercise will you do per day? Now, of course, this needs to be saved, otherwise nothing's gonna actually happen with it. So let's make it a variable, like time spent exercising, and that'll equal this raw input. And I'm not gonna get complicated with this. I mean, I could go into more detail and say like how many days of the week are you actually gonna exercise, but I'm just gonna assume that it's every day, just for simplicity right now, and you can go in and try some of these out, try making some changes to it, make sure you really understand it on your own. And now we just do the calculation, which is really pretty easy. So let's do total time across year, and that's just gonna equal this time spent exercising times 365. And then we can just tell it to print in here, you'll exercise a total of, right, and we'll do the plus of total time across year, and then plus, and then inside of these double quotation marks, minutes exercising this year. Now we have a couple issues here. And I want to run this first, and then I will discuss what they are, just so you can see them. So let's do the launch pad and terminal. We'll make this a bit bigger. What was this called? Exercise calc. Okay. So CD desktop. And we are going to run this in Python 2, just regular, because we used this raw input. What did we call it? Exercise calc. All right, how many minutes of exercise will you do per day? That appears to be working. Um, I'm not feeling very ambitious. Let's go with 10. That wasn't very useful, was it? So what happened here? So let's see. So we have one value of 10, two values of 10, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we have 27 copies of 10 here, and that's not even the full amount. So if this is 27, I don't know, maybe that's like another 10, so maybe 37. And if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lines here and a little bit more and each one of these is about 37 37 times 10 is it's just a little over 365 so I bet there's 365 instances of the number 10 here we input the number 10 here but it doesn't know if it's an integer or a string or a float it doesn't know now granted Python does know when we as a programmer puts it in, it chooses to figure it out, it takes a guess. And it took a guess here too, but it took the wrong guess. So what we need to do is we need to convert this 10 as a string into an integer or a float. So that's actually really easy to do. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this in parentheses. And in the front of those parentheses, we're going to say an integer because it's going to make this thing, this input, into an integer. We could also touch it to a float. It doesn't matter. At least in this instance, it doesn't matter. And now if we save it and we run it again, how many minutes will I do? I will do 10 minutes. It didn't like that either because it wants a string here and doesn't like that I stuck a float in there with it. It doesn't want to concatenate a float and a string. So what do we do then? What if we do an integer? And we save it and we run it again. 10. Well, it doesn't like that either. So we've converted this string that this spits out into an integer so we can do the math properly. But now it doesn't like mixing the integer with these strings. What if we took total time across the year and converted that into a string? Like, what's the variable for it? Let's call the variable maybe string total time, which could equal str for string, and then the value of total time across, across year. And it's gonna take this value and it's gonna convert it into a string, the same pattern that we used up here. So let's see if it's finally happy. What a complainer. All right, I'm gonna clear this just because it's getting a little crazy. All right, so Python exercise calc.py. Will you work? 10 minutes. Oh, you know what I did? I know what I did. Even though I converted this to a string, I forgot to actually switch it down here. So string total time one more shot and go we will exercise for 10 minutes I'm still sticking with my 10 I am not that ambitious actually 10 minutes for 365 days sounds a little ambitious to me there we go I will have exercised a total of 3,650 minutes exercising this year we will exercise a total of Ooh, using the same word in the same sentence twice, it's terrible. Now there's one more thing that I don't like about this, and that's 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 this chunk here, which just run together. And the reason why is because I have no space here between the F and the end of the string value, this double quote, and I have no space between this double quote here and the first letter of this value. And I've got the string here, or the conversion of that number into a string, and there's no spaces. Even though I put them here, this space doesn't really matter. I can have space, I could have no space, doesn't matter. What matters is putting a space there and a space there. So that way these spaces are part of these strings. So that way we'll see it here. So one more time. 10 minutes. There you go. I'll have exercised a total of 365 minutes exercising this year. I should make that English better, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea.